All right, Shane, uh, speaking of a team that uh, is going to have – well, they're not even technically having a spring game, but their spring is coming to a conclusion here in the next week. Let's kick it mm -hmm. on down to Fayetteville real quick where uh, Kendall Browse, the offensive coordinator, Barry Odom, the defensive coordinator, they met with the media here over the weekend, and Barry Odom had some viral comments. We all know the offers that Barry Odom has had. Basically, mm -hmm. since he's got to Arkansas, he's done such a great job. <laughs> he's getting coordinator jobs offered to him left and right. Uh, there's been, you know, suggestions that, uh, you know, even a head coaching jobs may be floating his way, and he talks mm -hmm. about that. So uh, let's kick it over to Barry Odom because Arkansas fans, man, they ate these comments up, and I think he will too, Shane. Sam has been very enthusiastic about the stability at coordinators, and I'm wondering, you, you've had options. What's kept you here for a third year, and what, what's going on here? Yeah, there's going to be. I mean, if if you if your players play really well, you're you're going to have you're going to have opportunities every year. That that's not going to change. Um, my thought process on having an opportunity to come back with this group a, another year was, you know, above above everything, the most important thing. Number one, uh, the culture that Sam Pittman has every day in our working environment you can't beat it uh, i don't you know i've not worked that many places but you can't tell me it's better somewhere else i think we've got a great uh, administrative support the fan base is the, the the best i've ever seen it's it's unbelievable i believe with the team that we have the way we've been able to recruit my family is really happy here i'm excited and happy to be here i think we can achieve great success here uh, so all those things combined um, if if there's an opportunity for me to be a you know I had opportunities as you know in, in um, you know a couple of things this off season to be a head coach again I'm not going to go take a head coaching position again just to say I did it I don't I don't need that my my ego doesn't need it I don't need it I'm having as fun as I've ever had coaching uh, being here and I don't know if fun has anything to do with it but I enjoy getting up and going to work every day the student athletes that I've got a chance to coach right now they're bought in. They like to play ball. They like to practice. They like to compete. They're doing a great job academically. It's a fun group to be around. Some day, some year, if a head coaching opportunity presents itself, um, then then I may go make a run at it. But it's got to be the right fit with the right alignment. And and uh, I feel like Arkansas is a special place. I feel like it is, um, you know, for me and my family and what we have going on defensively and program wise. Um, it's the best job in the country for me right now. All right, Shane. So, again, you hear comments like this. It's very, very easy to see why the Arkansas Razorbacks have turned around very quickly under Sam Pittman. And I thought it was great that uh, after I sent this out, uh, uh, Dave Bartu, my buddy down there, runs uh, CFB Matrix. You know, he tweeted me and said, you know, this is the best defensive coordinator in the SEC based on his grades. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's – again, this is – you know, we give Sam Pittman all the credit in the world. He deserves it. But Barry Odom, too, right there has got to get, you know, almost equal cr credit, in my opinion, for what he's done with this Arkansas defense. And I think the best is, is yet to come for these Razorbacks. Absolutely. And, Mike, I'm – there's no way in, in hell I'm going anywhere. But if the right offer comes <laughs> around, you know, it's like <laughs> – one thing I love about it is it, it, it's repetitive, man. It's every time that, that we get an open forum, you know, that's what they want to know. What's your next move? They just can't – they just can't believe – that he's sticking around in Arkansas. But that's like you said, it's, it's the culture they've created down there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, these Arkansas fans are excited because how long has it been since since anybody has tried to poach coaches from the staff? You know what I'm saying? So right. this is this is what you want. You want your you want to worry about your coordinators in the offseason because the program that's that should show you that the program is definitely moving in the right direction. And the fact that they're sticking around shows again what Sam is able to do there in Arkansas. So it's it's a great story, man, and, and and I'm here for it. And, you know, the one story, Shane, underlining this whole Arkansas thing, and, you know, I have no idea when Sam Pittman's going to retire. I'm not sitting here yeah. saying he's going to retire anytime soon, but that was out there before he got mm -hmm. the Arkansas job that he was kind of, you know, on the clearly on the back nine, kind of eyeing that mm -hmm. retirement. But But, of course, you get your dream job, that can certainly change things. So, 
Right. Hell, he may coach another 10 years at Arkansas. I hope he does. But <laughs> there may come a time, Shane, when if you got the best defensive coordinator in the SEC and you got Kendall Browse, who's top five offensive coordinator, mm-hmm. and he, hell, but, but, you know, maybe by the end of this season, everybody sees him as the best offensive coordinator. You know, these guys are getting offers left and right to be coordinators, but I wonder if we ever get to a point, Shane, where it's almost <laughs> like a race to, to see which one of them is going to be the next Arkansas head coach because yeah. I don't think that Arkansas could do better uh, provided these guys, you know, want the job, and I'm, I'm sure they would if, if Sam Pittman were to retire. But both these guys seem very qualified. You know, you, mm-hmm. you'd you want an offensive guru or you'd want – the best defensive coordinator in the SEC. I mean, may, maybe I'm putting the, the cart before the horse, but uh, I'm just thinking ahead of what an interesting dynamic that could potentially be one day. Well, yeah, and it just just what they're doing right now is what it's what it's creating. I mean, think about this: when Arkansas was not a place you wanted to go, head coach. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason Sam Pittman is over there. It's not mm-hmm. that. I, he wasn't their first call, brother. I, right. They 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 had other shots. This is where they landed. But what he's done down there has made this job more and more attractive each season. So, yeah, they'll they'll come a time. Sam Sam decides to to hang it up and walk away. But when he does, brother, I'm telling you, I love Coach Odom, but there's going to be a long line of other coaches that's going to want to come in. Right. Yeah. No doubt. And, and to to further your point, Shade, you know, I, we had Brent Zerneman on. Texas A&M insider on a long time ago. He said, Chad Morris wanted that A&M job, and why wouldn't he? Uh-huh. But when, yeah. they, when they said no, he said, all right, I'll, I'll go be Arkansas coach. So, <laughs> you're right. It's cut, it's come a, it's certainly come a long way in a, in a short uh-huh. time there in Fayetteville. But speaking of the Aggies, Shane, let's jump on down to 